might be a 16, 17 there. Let's go, beautiful fish. NW Outdoors, back at it with another episode for you guys. Happy Easter to everyone. It's March 30th, Saturday. It's probably about 5.30, 5.45. It's getting late on me already, so I want to get this going. Another short interview. How we doing? Oh, I'm so excited to be out, guys. It's a beautiful night. Wind just died down. Temperature's about 40, 45. Water temperature's probably about 41 last time I've done my research. I don't have a depth finder telling me, so I can't verify that, sorry. But uh, same spot, guys, max landing. I'm up in my uh, downriver about 15 minutes in my spot that I love to anchor. And uh, we're all set, settled in. Let's get some fish. Let's go. How's that, guys? Good angle? Perfect. You hearing me all right? We don't have audio issues with the wind? <laughs> Someday I'll upgrade my camera equipment, guys, I promise, but... Bear with me. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. NW Outdoors. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, guys. I'm trying to grow this uh, this channel. Um, you know, teaching you guys something, uh, you know, a little different out there. Let's just know. fish. All right, we're going with the river jig. We're going to try a quarter ounce. We got a gold with a white cap. My daughter came up with this color, guys. I absolutely love it. That is again a quarter ounce. We're gonna put a shiner. I got emerald shiners finally. We're gonna put an emerald shiner on that one. And then I'm gonna run the three ace. Um, I think it's a cotton candy. Oh, no. Oh. Three ace chartreuse in white, just like I did last time, guys. This is my favorite color for the river. Just catches the most fish for me. So that's again, river jig, three ace, Gamagatsu hook, water's edge custom tackle. You know the game, let's go. This is gonna get a um, fat head. And I went with a little smaller fat heads tonight, guys. Uh, just cause I thought, you know, the water's still pretty cold. They're not super aggressive. They were biting short last time I was out. So, I went with a little smaller middle. Let's see how that uh, see how that goes. If I can find one here. That looks like one. It's more like a, a large crappie size middle fat head. And we're down. Let's go. So the water level has risen. So what does that mean for me? Um, I have moved a little shallower, a little tighter to shore. The current's uh, going to be a little stronger out in the middle of the river more. So these fish are going to probably be trying to avoid that. Follow up that current seam. Adjustment time. This happens a lot, guys. Not going to lie. When you're anchor fishing, it's all about that position of the boat. If you're not where you like to be, you're not comfortable and confident, you might as well just go home. What's the point of being out there, right? You gotta have some form of confidence. So I think what we're gonna do is loosen a little bit up here. Which then I can pull in. Now I'm slapping the bottom nicely, guys. Let's go. See, that's all it took. 
Just a little adjustment. Now I'm back to the confidence I'm looking for. Back and forth to the bottom. Contact. I don't feel like I have a mile long, mile long line laying out there. Pretty close to the boat here, as, as close as I can. So what happens if you're if you're in too slack of water, you'll be able to jig the pull the jig right to the boat. All of a sudden you'll become vertical. Then you'll know you're too um, out of the current too much, too dead of water. You're gonna want to go back in and find that seam. And you'll know. All of a sudden your your line and your current or your jig will just go straight back down. You should know. sorts of junk floating tonight guys. It's the downside of uh, after a big rain rainfall. But we needed it. We needed it. Beautiful eagle. He would have came right down the water if he didn't see me move from the camera. That's the second one I saw tonight, guys. I saw one on the way out, too. That's pretty cool, huh? Bring me some good luck. Let's go. This would be called a sturgeon because you can't move them, right? I'll take it. Hot or cold. I think I only got one more three ace left though. Here. Wonder if that's one of the sturgeons I had on. He's pissed that he got a jig in his back. <laughs> it's a nice pretty one though. Why are you mad? Are you mad? It's a pretty jig. there. Yeah. The carp maybe? Sure looks like a walleye. Really big one too. Oh, 
Come on, Miha. This is a walleye, guys. It's a big one. Okay? Oh, it's a red horse. Giant red horse. I should have known when it took off like that. Look, but I'm not keeping this. It's awful big. Oh, maybe that's like a record red horse, or uh, I'm pretty sure that's a red horse. That's big. That is big. Huh? Look at that. Here he's getting pissed. Oh yeah, big dog, let's go. <laughs> See ya, Miha. Well, you never know what you're gonna get out here, guys. Gosh, I thought that was a nice wall at first. Back to the real fishing here, please. So, what does that tell you guys? Nothing but rough fish today. That tells me the water's heating up. I did not expect that tonight, guys. I was expecting a good night. A good night for walleyes, but there's a lot of good fishing to come, guys. It's still pretty early yet. We got a whole month yet. Oh, as bad as I don't want to shut it down, guys. Pretty quick here. I gotta call it a night. Again, I appreciate you watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Because there will be another one. A redemption video. Smashing walleyes. Yep. I said it. I'm not jinxing myself. Have all the faith in the world in this spot. I know I had a walleye on tonight, but nothing to show for you guys other than a giant red horse. So thanks for watching again. NW Outdoors, Water's Edge Custom Tackle. If something happens here in the next five, ten minutes, I'll bring it to you, but thanks again, guys. We'll see you over and out. Hang on a minute. I think we got our walleye, guys. I think we got a good one here. Yes! We got him! Oh! Not a giant, another nice male, about 15, 16. Hooks already popped out. That's always a plus. Oh yeah. Oh, it might be, it might be a 16, 17 there. Let's go, beautiful fish. That bad boy's coming right home with me. Say hello. <laughs> Let's go guys, let's go.
We'll give it a few more minutes here. See if we can't replicate that. Maybe we got a couple coming in. Right as I was doing the closing interview. Can you believe that? Thank you, Lord. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Awesome. Well, now I don't know what to say because I wanted to come back and get redemption, but missing one and catching one and a giant red horse, I'll, I'll take that for a win, guys. It's a good night. Again, that came on the three ace, chartreuse and white, my favorite color for the river. I just have the most success in that color, guys. I gotta make sure I get out of this river safely, so. We'll try to do another closing interview here. This will be the end for me, guys. So, until next time, NW Outdoors, thanks for watching.